to my channel. So if you guys are new here, my name is Kristen and welcome to my channel. So today, you guys, this video, it is one of my favorite builds that I have done. I feel like it is definitely a really cute and cozy family home. So a lot of you guys have really been enjoying when I do these family homes. So I'm trying to incorporate them a lot more during the week when I do my builds. So I definitely will be working on some apartments. I feel like I haven't really worked in an apartment in quite a while. So you're definitely going to be seeing some more of those next week as well as some more family homes. I don't know. I feel like I did a lot of room builds and I've tried to stay away from the house builds and it's good to do that once in a while. It's good to kind of um, switch up what you're doing just to give yourself a break and pull some new inspiration. So if you guys actually do like how this house turns out at the end, I will be leaving the link in the description so you guys can find it really easy into the gallery or you can just use my username on origin Kristen Marie XO. So if you place this, you guys just make sure to put on the move objects cheat so that everything that is sized up or altered around is going to get placed the exact same into your game as I have built it into mine. So this actually gave me a bit of a headache <laughs> to build. Oh my God, you guys. So if you're kind of watching this and you're thinking, oh my God, like it's just, it's being built flawlessly. Like nothing's being moved. Everything's just being placed meticulously. It is because you guys, I had to build this two freaking times. I had built it. I took my time. I had on SoundCloud. I was listening to podcasts and I really had a struggle on how I wanted the shape of the house to go. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be two stories or just one, but I did go ahead and this ended up just being like one bungalow kind of house. I guess it's not a bungalow, but just kind of one level. And I had built the whole thing. It was probably over an hour. It was like an hour and 20 minutes, just the exterior of the build. The exterior was completely finished. I had just started on working into the kitchen and I was recording it. Everything was going well. And then the Sims friggin' quit. Like it froze and there was nothing else I could do. I must have pushed something because I was trying to get the floor tiles to do like the half tile thing and I'm not sure if I clicked a button but he completely seized everything up. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was gonna cry but I did have the video recording so I just kind of was looking at the image of the finished build for reference to basically duplicate. So it was definitely easier and quicker which I guess it kind of worked out better because it ended up being now a video over 10 minutes and I feel like if that didn't happen, it probably easily would have been a 20 minute speed build like last week because it really took me a long time to figure out how it was that I wanted like the exterior of the build to go. So I also kind of couldn't figure out if I wanted this to be like a darker or a lighter themed like color scheme house. So I kind of felt like I kind of stay away from doing like the wooden rustic kind of builds even though I really do like doing them. Um, I haven't really done that many so I kind of stuck with that theme throughout this and I love how it turned out. It is very very country and rustic and I think it is very adorable. So into the kitchen there is like the bar and I wanted to keep within like the wooden um, decor so a lot of the furniture is like the brown wooden like all through the house and I also brought in the brick from the outside as like accent walls just to kind of tie everything together make it really cozy and you guys the clutter is very minimal I tried to keep it very neat and tidy and kind of realistic so there isn't going to be a lot of like clutter items from the hidden objects that I have kind of been using a lot of. So if you guys are not a big fan of like the big clutter build, you guys are probably going to like this one a lot better than some of my other family homes. So in the living room, like the living room and kitchen, it is kind of open concept. Like it just kind of flows into each other and there's a fireplace in there as well and everything just kind of coordinates together. So this has the bedroom right here, which is the parents' bedroom. And this is like from the outside of the house, that line of windows is supposed to be the garage, like when you're looking from the outside. But I kind of wanted to take advantage of all the space and turn it into a bedroom. 
and I still think it turned out okay. I put the brick where the long walls were so it didn't really look that weird. I think it really looks cute in that bedroom. And okay, so the parents' bedroom has an ensuite which is kind of duplicated from the main bathroom. So both bathrooms are completely full bathroom. There's a tub in both with your sink and, and toilet. So both fully functional and I feel like you definitely need to have two bedrooms if you are working with more than two sims in a house so there's like no conflict in the bathrooms. So over here you guys I kind of done something different that I have not done in a while and it was to try to figure out how to make some kind of bunk bed in the bedroom. So I mean this bedroom is very long and narrow but I wanted it to have two kids beds in there but I didn't really want it to have like the two beds on the floor because I feel like it would just be a little bit cramped. So I do end up giving them kind of um, the mix match bed. I don't I don't even know how to explain it like what it's kind of like an L shaped bunk bed and there's like a bookshelf underneath and there's a, even like a computer and a desk in there as well. So then in the hallway, there's like the chore chart and I kind of kept the floor, like the floor going just completely through the whole house because I really like it. I have not used that in a while and it definitely fits within like the country rustic feel. So I'm trying to think, I'm pretty sure this is on a 20 by 30 lot. It might be a 20 by 20, but I'm pretty sure it's 20 by 30. And the background that you guys are seeing, this is in Windenburg. I really, really have been enjoying building in Windenburg, especially on the island with the water in the background. And I feel like this house fits perfectly with like all of the houses kind of scattered. Like there's trees in between and I feel like this just fits perfectly on the island. So if you guys do like how the build turned out, definitely make sure to give it a very big thumbs out. If you guys did enjoy how it turned out, and also consider subscribing here to my channel where I am posting regularly everything Sims related from builds to Let's Plays, mod reviews. I just have a lot of fun here and I'm also streaming a lot more often. So I would really love to know what kind of rooms and houses you guys would like to see me recreate in some of my future builds. I finally, you guys, did daily uploads all week instead of every other day and I'm gonna try to keep with the momentum but it is kind of difficult you guys over the summertime with like real life work everything like that so I don't know I've been having a lot of fun you guys seem to really been enjoying all of the builds and the mod reviews so I'm definitely kind of scouring the internet on some new mod reviews that I haven't seen so there's gonna be lots of screenies at the end and yeah, so that kitchen, I'm just kind of like putting in all the clutter and I didn't want to overdo it. Like there's two stoves and it's definitely an entertaining kitchen, but there's no table. I feel like there is room to put a table over like where the door is if that is something you do want to add in. But I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit minimal if that makes sense, but still kind of cozy. So there is the bookshelf and the plant over by the front door. And everything just kind of flows good together. Like the whole entire color scheme of the house, it's just kind of like flows into each and every single one of the rooms. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video and enjoy all of the screenies that I have added in the end just to let you guys get a little closer look at all of the items in the build. And hopefully I'm going to be able to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!